Growing up in the wilds of Alaska, I've seen my fair share of nature's beauty, but I still just can't believe this place. How big it is, how wild, and how unforgiving in this kind of charming way. Surfing in Alaska is so much more than just riding a wave. It's this whole experience of pioneering, going out into the unknown, searching, searching for something that's so elusive and hard to find. Over 34,000 miles of coastline. There's a certain kind of experience that comes along with pioneering. It's hard to explain, but it's impossible to resist. Alaska is a land of extremes, where weather can turn violent in just moments. Hurricane force winds and seas whipped up by extreme tides are the norm. This isn't an easy place to go prospecting for surf. But easy isn't something we're in search of. Accessing the coastline in Alaska is incredibly difficult. With such a limited road system, it's usually by air or by sea. Packing our boards and survival gear into bush planes, we'll go out and land on beaches. Or we'll load up into fishing boats and make a slow, bumpy ride out into the unknown. We've learned a thing or two about pioneering surf in the far north. But most importantly, we've learned that you set up a plan and then you just embrace the unavoidable adventures that always come along with pioneering surf in a place like this. We always head out looking for waves, but whether we score or not, we always come home with a story. Living proof that the intermittent reward is the most powerful. We regularly spend days enduring storms, searching for a surfable wave, often stumbling across our goal just in time to watch the tide wash it away or the winds come up and rip it apart. Nothing I'd rather do than be out there, immersed in nature, searching for that euphoric moment. Never knowing when, never knowing where, but just always searching.